Yep. We've got our chief steward, Joe Avica, here. He's giving us a drum solo. We're live on YouTube, Joe. I'm learning how to drum today for our strike. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how are you feeling today? It's so amazing to see the support that's out here. This is really, really inspiring. This is awesome. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. I got a thing when I got divorced and she gave me a thing. So I knew when I got this. We are live here on the picket line here at corporate headquarters at CUNA Mutual Group here in Madison, Wisconsin. It's day one of our unfair labor practice strike. Their brand new shiny building is right behind me. We've had a press conference already this morning. We've got tons and tons of support. Something that was really exciting was that the construction workers that were working here on campus that were in the in the trades unions, they packed up and got out of here. They didn't want to cross the picket line. So that's really, really inspiring to see the solidarity from them. I'm gonna walk up and down here on the picket line to show you what's going on. We're here at the check-in yeah, check-out yeah, tent. Great idea. This is where we write our names so we can check in and check out. We've got t-shirts that all say ULP strike. We've got refreshments and supplies, music going, bagels. We've got all sorts of yeah. great signs. D, let's see your sign. I think, I think Union strong like all day long. Time. Love yeah. it. We're, we're live on YouTube. Say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. So this is their brand new shiny building that they built for some number of hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm not sure of the exact figure, but uh, it goes up at a time where we are fighting for fair compensation that keeps up with inflation. We're fighting for affordable and quality health care. We're fighting for job security. We're fighting for remote work status. That's something that affects me. I'm somebody who works in, all of this affects me, but I can say specifically that the remote work affects me. I work in Iowa uh, remotely most of the time, and I drove up here to Madison to uh, cover it here in person, brought my camera, brought my phone, streaming live on YouTube right now. We've got a virtual picket line going on in addition to the physical picket line. We've got a ton of support. This is day one of our unfair labor practice strike. Yeah. Now, if people are curious about an unfair labor practice strike, that is a little bit different than an economic strike. An economic strike might be what you are usually used to picturing in your head when people talk about a strike. An unfair labor practice strike has certain legal protections for people who are out on the unfair labor practice strike. It means that people, it means that the company can't come in and uh, lock us out after we've decided that our strike has ended. It protects our jobs in that way. Um, and so that's what we're doing here today, day one of our unfair labor practice strike. I'm coming up on a group of picketers here. Check it out. Look at all these signs. Look at all this support. We're here on our unfair labor practice picket. Look at everybody. We've got chants. We've got signs. We've got the power. We've got the power. Union, Union power. power. Our picket line stretches a really long way. So you can see that building that I was in front of when I started this a little bit ago. It's already way back in the background now. And uh, we're walking all the way down here to the driveway here at the um, I don't know if it's the Credit Union Way, is that what we call it? They're probably uh, renaming it to True Stage Way or something as the 
as they rename their, their whole brand. So that's another thing that's going on here. Uh, the company is in the midst of rebranding their organization, right? So for 85 years and more, they've been CUNA Mutual Group. They were founded in the wake of the Great Depression as a company that was going to provide financial products and services to credit unions. And over the course of many, many years, that's what they did. Recently, they made the decision for, to uh, change their name to True Stage, which, you know, symbolically removes them from that credit union origin, right? There's no longer the CUNA in the name. And it kind of symbolizes, in our opinion, a distancing from their, uh, their roots here, right? Like, we've been, I think we were charted as a union in like the 40s, so we've been the, the union for a long time. And this is the first strike that we've ever been out on. We've never had to do this before. This is the first time that we've needed to authorize a strike, let alone go out on one. And it is kind of remarkable that uh, we've got all the support that we have. It's really amazing. It looks like the, uh, the virtual picket line is watching the live stream, which is amazing. It's great to see. How's it going, everyone? I'm still walking. I'm still walking way down here. Watching live from the virtual picket line. Nice. Awesome. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, you guys gotta, gotta see this sign. Can I show your sign on the on the camera here? We've got strike against CUNA Mutual's unfair labor practices, OPIU, Local 39. Love it. It's the same on the back, CUNA Mutual. The union is ready to negotiate a contract. Why aren't you? Absolutely. Thank you. So that sign raises a great point. How's it going? That sign raises a great point. We've been bargaining for well over 14 months now. This is a really long bargaining. I don't know what you even call it. But the bargaining has stretched out forever. And uh, we've been ready to make a, a, a deal from day one, right? Like, we are not out on strike because we just want to be on strike. We don't want to do this. This is something that we have to do in order to get a fair contract. The things that we're asking for are not unreasonable whatsoever. We just want a fair contract. What's fair? The company can afford to give us a fair contract, right? They've made record profit year after year throughout the pandemic. Uh, it's something that uh, is not remotely unreasonable. We've got some of our supporters right now. Let's see the sign. What's the, what's the sign say, Sam? That's right. Day one of the unfair labor practice strike. Woo! Woo Thanks for picketing. Yeah, we've got. We've been. We, yeah, we've been on. Uh, we've been bargaining for over 14 months. We've been ready to make a deal from day one. We've made significant concessions in bargaining. We're ready to make a deal. We, we try to compromise. We're not being unreasonable. We're not insisting on anything that it, so, that the company isn't able to give us. So that's why we uh, made the decision to go out on this unfair labor practice strike. And that's why we're here today. I'm going to flip the camera around so you're not staring at my face for this walk back. Give me a chance to catch my breath, but you'll get to see what the walk looks like. It looks like there are over 50 of the uh, remote workers that are on the morning shift. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's <laughs> that's super impressive, actually. I love that. I um, I'm super excited to check into the, uh, the the virtual strike because that's something that is really new, right? In uh, labor organizing history, this isn't something that's been a tactic for very long for obvious yeah. reasons. Yeah, people exactly. didn't have cell phones back when. Uh, you know, people first started setting physical picket lines. And so the uh, remote people are supporting us here in phys on the physical picket line. That's one of their, their remits, right? They're, uh, I believe they're coordinating food and beverage delivery. Um, Y'all are doing so much in that way. Y'all are also um, helping out on social media, getting the word out. That's been huge. Um, and it sounds like, We'll be doing teach-ins and other sorts of activities. Uh, it's really cool to see. As Justin says, great to see everyone coming together for a fair contract. Absolutely, Justin. 
So this sign up ahead of me says, invest in our futures, no pension cuts. And so that's one of our top five priorities that we have as a union is to maintain the pension. The company is proposing to cut our pension for new hires. When we asked the company how much it would cost to keep the pension for over three years, for, for, for the three year duration of our, con our, our contract, the company provided with their own numbers, they said it would cost them like $189,000 for three years for the entire bargaining unit to maintain the pension plan. I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. That's a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of money that CUNA Mutual Group slash True Stage makes in profit. There's, there's no reason that they would do that other than to create a division in the bargaining unit, right? So if they cut our pension for new hires, that creates a two-tiered system, right? There's gonna be some employees with a pension and there's gonna be some employees without a pension. The next time the contract negotiations roll around, the next in, in three years or whenever it is, there's gonna be a split in the membership. There's gonna be some of us that have a pension plan, some of us that don't, and that will weaken our bargaining position. So we don't want that to be cut. There's no reason that it should be cut. It's not costing them anything. It's purely a divisive strategy for them. So that's why we're fighting for it. Also, it's just good to have a pension, right? We're here on the live stream with uh, Sarah here. She's got her people over private. She's on the bargaining team. I want to shout out. I'm turning the camera back on me. I haven't been on camera for that long. That's okay. But uh, the bargaining team has done such a great job over the course of this uh, negotiating period. It's been over 14 months. They've been in late night sessions. They've been in mediation with the company. And they've made a lot of effort to get a deal. The wind is picking up. I think that we're getting blown around. Is that, is that what's going on right now? Yeah. So big thanks to our contract bargaining team really appreciate it so over here we've got some security guards watching our picket they're allowed to do that but we've also got these private property no trespassing signs we've got a white line that they painted like a football field i'm guessing that's just a little bit of a i don't know intimidating factor or tactic or something We're getting tons of support from the community, driving by, honking their horns. We're getting tons of support from other labor. This is our uh, our restroom shuttle. <laughs> I love this shuttle. We love the restroom shuttle. <laughs> Joel says, looks like a party. It is a party. It's exciting. We've got music. We've got chants going. It's really exciting. Oh, here's something I want to talk about for a minute. I'm going to move down here a little bit so you can hear me a little bit better. <laughs> Andy's leading a, a chant. Okay, so if you see all of these uh, flags in the median here, there are 1,200 flags in the median, and uh, you may remember that 1,200 is the number of jobs that we have lost over the last 20 years of being a union here at CUNY Mutual Group due to outsourcing. So this job security outsourcing issue is a huge one for us because it is a very uh, essential part of what makes us strong is the number of people that can be in our union, right? And so when the company chooses to outsource our union jobs, some of the contractors, um, not even that far away, there's like contractors in Madison, there's contractors in Iowa, there's contractors all around the world that they're outsourcing our labor to. Uh, when, they, when they do that, it violates our contract. So it's illegal for them to do it. And we filed unfair labor practice charges with the National Labor Relations Board on that fact. And it also undermines the strength of us, right? And so, we're fighting for more robust language to protect our job security, to prevent further erosion of our union strength.
something that happened earlier, which was really cool, was uh, well, I'll tell you once we get through this uh, this music. This book has built the got tents going. The whole operation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so something that happened earlier that was really cool. So um, there's construction going on here on campus. There's, I'm not really sure what they're doing, but they seem to be doing something, building a building, tearing one down, who knows. But when we showed up this morning on our picket line with these signs that say, we're on a ULP strike, the construction workers that were here packed up and left. They did not want to cross the picket line. Some of them came back and got their equipment to leave. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to see the solidarity. So we really appreciate that from the trade unionists. There's more security guards at this entrance. The Findorf workers walked off the job site in solidarity with us. Behind me here, we've got a sign that says, true stage, more like false stage. I love that sign. It's, it's, it's in contention for the top signs of the day, I think, so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that nobody's like, hey, you spelled false wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on purpose. <laughs> 37 cents. Well, they spelled true wrong. That's exactly right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they dropped the E, so it's not that. Nice. <laughs> uh, my neighbor is on the county board. Another thing that we've got here, I want to spotlight your sign really quick. We've got a hands-off Joe sign. Can you tell us what that's about? Well, um, the company fired our chief steward uh, for standing up for what's right for us. And we think that's very wrong. And we support Joe 100%. And we hope they reinstate him soon. Absolutely. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Our chief steward. Joe Avica was fired earlier this year. He was terminated illegally as an act of retaliation from the company against our union as an attempt to undermine our strength. And I think that was a huge error, honestly. It was a huge flashpoint for our union. And uh, we really came together in the wake of Joe's termination and rallied together. Hands off, Joe. Absolutely, Joel. It doesn't really matter the details of what's going on, but uh, suffice it to say, the company made some uh, obviously untrue claims about what Joe did to warrant a termination, and uh, everyone sees through it. That it's a uh, they, they 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 did what is known as a fishing expedition. They confiscated his laptop and just like dug through something and just like found something to basically make up and say that he did something wrong and fired him. And uh, we're fighting for his reinstatement and his position. That's part of our, that, that, that's part of the, the, the fight now. This retaliation against union leadership is not okay. And it's illegal. Justice says remote workers with you. Thank you. Solidarity with y'all. Really appreciate the, uh, the remote support. So we're down here on Rosa Road now, and we're going to the construction gate. Sorry, you probably can't hear me over the lawnmower. But we're walking down Rosa Road now, down to the gate where some of the, uh, some of the action has been taking place. And this is the gate where the construction workers enter and leave. And so what we're doing is we're just, we're just walking, we're just walking, walking back and forth across the, uh, the public sidewalk. We're allowed to do that. We can cross the driveway. We're allowed to do that. We're not preventing anybody from entering. But of their own volition, workers have decided they don't want to cross the picket line, which is amazing to see. Okay, cool. Alright. That's Kevin back there. President of Scuffle. He's been a huge help for us. We've got a honk if you support a fair contract sign going. 
And there has been a lot of honking. Therefore, a lot of support. So we're down here at the Rosa Road entrance, where we're, 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 we're just walking back and forth. We're not stopping anybody from getting through. As you can see, people can cross. How's it going? I'm gonna join you on the live stream, walking back and forth across this. Yeah, just for a little bit. So yeah, this is the scene. Same truck as doing You got people. This is the same truck we've seen a dozen times. That you said? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. I thought yeah. I said it to me earlier. I saw that truck. That truck and this truck follows them. Yeah. I see, I now seen them twice. It's almost really saw them go by a lot. Hmm. Joe's working on his drumming still. Yeah, it's right on like PD, PD, uh, yeah, it, if you go like, um, uh, We've got a respect your workers sign. I love seeing all the handmade signs. I drop the shop in Sonartha to keep him on in a park. Folks who are on the remote picket line, tell me how it's going. What's going on? I'm going to walk back to the uh, tent, pick up some water. I'm uh, a bit parched. We just split into breakout rooms. Awesome. So the remote picket line is doing a lot of support and part of what they're doing is uh, breaking into different committees right and so uh, they're splitting up according to uh, what people's preferences are and where their abilities lie to oh my gosh I just saw somebody drive by in what I thought was my car Kevin says, we have live stream access, admin team, community engagement, social media, GoFundMe, watch, food and beverage, branding, and messaging. That's amazing. Uh, I, I can't wait to, to pop in later and hear more about what y'all are doing. I know you just started your, your breakout room, so I won't ask what you've done so far, but even just breaking out into those different committees is huge. Because this is day one, right? We're in it for real. Oh, here's something that I can talk about. We had a press conference this morning, and so the remote people know I called in during that, but we had some media coverage. Someone said that, uh, someone from the Credit Union Times, I think it was, like flew out for this press conference in front of CUNY Mutual Group's headquarters. Which is really amazing. It was more of a rally than I was anticipating. It was exciting. So if folks are following us on social media, that's great. We're here on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. I posted a couple TikToks this morning. I'm not really sure what I'm doing on TikTok, honestly. So go over there and see see me fumble my way through that. Are there any additional streamers we should know about or coordinate with? I know Justin will be streaming from our local's Twitch account later this afternoon. He's gonna be streaming one to four p.m. Central Time. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So he's gonna be streaming over the weekend. That's O-P-E-I-U. 39. Let me say that again because I almost said it wrong. On Twitch, it's O P E I U 39 on Twitch. It's going to be this afternoon. I'm going to try to check in with him. I know there are going to be other people checking in with him as well. So here it is. 
They call this building the lighthouse. It's an expensive new building that they built here in Madison instead of paying us a fair wage, instead of giving us what we asked for, instead of giving us access to high quality affordable health care. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Glad we ca uh, caught the uh, sneeze attack here on the live stream. Excellent. Uh, news for me. So there, Hi, Brent. Oh, Brent. Hey. Hi. I feel like you're. Did I miss the. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I'm trying to find some water right now. A little bit earlier. I don't know why it's down now, but. This is uh, the inflatable cat, fat cat. All right, live stream. I'm gonna need you to help me out here. I'm about to select a beverage. Which beverage should I select? Let's see. We've got a cooler called Teyuda. There's nothing in Teyuda. I'm gonna look in this one. Maybe I'll look at this one. I'm just thirsty. <laughs> Where's the guy getting water around here? Oh, the Christmas supplies. It was right in front of me the whole time. We've got a dog here on the picket line. A very good dog. Yes, he's the mascot. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Joel asks, is anyone using those bubbles I dropped off? Yes, down at the uh, construction gate. Uh, it was really nice. It was, uh, it was bubble time. And the cat's generator is probably out of gas. That is true. It was up for a while. We got photos of that. I just left my camera with Cameron, so I'm making him carry it around for me. Do you need me to take care of that? I'm dead. Uh, you still live streaming? I'm still live streaming. The remote picket lines here, yeah. hearing us talk about logistics of <laughs> where to put the what, where to put the camera. Where would you like me to put the camera? I got a place I put the camera. Uh, you can in the shade around here. I'm probably gonna post up here in a minute. Okay. And the live stream, it's been about half an hour, so. <laughs> Joel says, I just had a call. One of the scuffle members is on a gas run. The fat cat will live again. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, did the fat cat? Rise of fat cat, yeah. Run out of gas? Sounds like it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to end the live stream here. Bye, live stream. Bye, live stream. Thanks for joining us. We're going to uh, check in within you, with you guys a little bit later. Uh, yeah. Want to say goodbye to the live stream? Hi and bye, everybody. Adios, live stream. Thanks everyone. Bye. How do I doing doing that classic thing?